Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about Bitmain's second Alephium ASIC. So yes, we know about the AL1. There is officially an AL1 Pro. We do have the specs. We do have what the price points are going to be. And we're going to just kind of confirm its existence, right? They haven't officially announced it, but we did find concrete evidence directly from them. So we'll show the specs. We'll show what the price is going to be and kind of just give our thoughts on Alephium ASICs as they are now going to be coming as soon as this month. So as soon as literally a couple of weeks now, we're officially in August. So it's almost go time, right? So if that sounds good, guys. Stay tuned. Let's get to this thing. So I was kind of waiting for official confirmation from Bitmain. Usually they do a tweet, they'll announce it, yada, yada, yada. Um, so they haven't done that yet. But it is actually listed if you look up the current AL1, the AL1 Pro specs are actually on there. Okay, so this isn't rumor mill. I know some there was a lot of questions just because some uh, websites did list it and such. So it is real. It is official. This is direct from the source. Okay, so I normally don't like leaks or anything. So again, making it clear, we're going to show it from their site. So this is not a leak. It's official. Okay, so if you go in and you search Alephia Masics, they are sold out. So you're going to have to click to show sold out products. You're going to click on the AL1. And once you click on the AL1, if you go through the specs, they actually do have it listed here. So they have the standard model and then the pro model next to it, which is kind of unusual. Again, they'll typically have a separate listing. They'll make a big deal of it, but for so far for this model, they haven't. So it's very similar. It's not nothing that's going to be like groundbreaking or, oh man, this is the next big thing. It's very similar to like with the KS5, the KS5 and the KS5 Pro. Very slight difference. Same efficiency, just either a couple more chips or they just clocked it a little bit higher. Whatever the difference is, it's relatively the same. And in reality, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so the standard model is 15.6 terahash, the pro model is 16.6, and instead of it being 3,510 watts, it's 3,730. So efficiency stays the same, nothing really changes, you're just getting another terahash. Um, again, same exact efficiency, 225 joules of terahash. As far as pricing goes, pricing also remains the same. It's literally one terahash more, so you can add the, that price to it. So at the base price, which again, is not going to be the street price, $26.79, the after coupon price is closer to the street price. So realistically, add another $1,800 and change to that price, and that's your new price. Again, not much of a difference here, right? So it's not something that's crazy or like super, super dramatic or super different. And then down here, they also confirm that it is two different units, right? There was some confusion also whether... It's like a high power mode or something of that sort. It does seem like they are two different units and they may get shipped randomly, actually. So the AL1 Pro and AL1 Standard have the same price per hash rate. That's why we're able to figure it out up there. Different prices per unit. OK, so that just gives us the exact answer that it is two different units. But again, it's pretty much the same thing as like the KS5 and the KS5 Pro. OK. So again, nothing too dramatic. So I know some of you guys got disappointed, like, oh man, I just bought, spent 30K, so I have the best. And now you got beat out. It's not really that big of a deal. It's the same thing as the KS5, KS5 Pro. Is it worth it to get the bigger? I mean, realistically, not really. It's the same thing with the KS5, KS5 Pro. You're gonna wanna just go if it's a better deal. Like for example, again, with those KS5s, if it's only a couple hundred bucks difference, it's worth it. If it's like a big premium, not gonna be worth it. Okay, so again, kind of weird that they didn't announce anything regarding specifically that model. A little bit unusual. This current batch, at least from Bitmain, is sold out. Is it still available though? Yes. Okay, that doesn't mean that, oh, they're officially gone. There's going to be a big unit. You can still get them from your favorite resellers. Okay. As far as I've been hearing rumors about delays and such, I haven't heard anything there. If anything, I wouldn't be surprised for it to come out earlier. Okay, so I haven't heard anything on that front either. Current timeline though is end of August. So what does that mean? Expect literally the last day of August for it to start shipping. I wouldn't expect to see these in people's hands until like mid-September, somewhere around there, right? Um, can it happen sooner? Can it get delayed? Sure. Like if you're gonna calculate your ROI on these other units and 
a couple of days or a week is going to make or break you, you're buying it for the wrong reasons, right? So just expect it to be sometime, maybe early, mid-September. All we know is that we're coming. To what extent, we have no idea, right? We can speculate whether it's a couple hundred units or it's a couple thousand units. Realistically, we don't know. My personal guess, it's realistically most likely going to be under a thousand units, right? And I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little bit less, who really knows? Uh, one thing that's definitely blocked a lot of people from potentially getting it, who are considering it, not necessarily blocked, but kind of like, mm, let me hold back a little bit, is the pricing of the AL0, right? So not only the pricing, but the specs of it, the fact that the efficiency is pretty much on point, as well as the pricing is on point with the AL1, okay? so. It's much more appealing to buy just a slice of it versus being forced to essentially buy like 40 of these things, right? It scales in almost perfectly. You can literally get a fractionalized version of the Bitmain unit with these guys, right? So the difference being is quality and whether you know what you think is going to be worth it. Obviously, there's a lot less risk in a sense buying one of these guys because, again, it's $800. Worst case scenario, price tanks. They're worth a couple hundred bucks after. That's one thing, the AL1, if something similar happens there, obviously it's it's a different ball game. It's a whole different market, right? And both units are towards different people. Does that mean nobody's gonna buy the AL1 because of this? That doesn't mean that either. This is just a very different market, right? This is not really for us little plebs. This is not really for people who are worried about ROII. These are for people who just want the best unit, want the highest end unit, and that's what it comes down to, right? So is this something for me or for the typical at-home miner? No, especially if it's something where you're going to put the majority of your capital that you had towards this, it's a ton of risk pros, right? So from what we've seen in the past, for example, the greatest example here is like the KS3, right? The MSRP was insane. It's up to you whether you think people got wrecked or not. In my opinion, yes, like if you're a little pleb miner. But again, the people who did make out well were the people who purchased a fleet of these things so like farms things of that sort and over time they got what they were expecting out of it right but again if you're gonna go all in on one unit a lot of risk there right so to me this thing is much more appealing for any of us more at home guys just because again it does scale in perfectly okay again typically there's a premium for these smaller guys or it's not as efficient with the ice river units in this case, it is the difference being potential quality. We don't really know yet. Nothing's really came out. Ice River's quality tends to be so-so in comparison to Bitmain. The smaller guys, though, haven't really heard too many issues with like the zeros, right? Most of the issues tend to stem with the bigger units. Um, so just something to factor in there. But because of this guy, I just really don't see them dropping like more than a thousand of these guys realistically maybe a couple hundred because again they can drop as many as they want but how many are actually going to get purchased and used right so even if the batch of a thousand is made and we get confirmation somehow that yep they're shipping a thousand of these things are a thousand of them actually going to get sold at these prices with this thing out maybe maybe not right maybe they freaking did sell that whole allocation already we have no idea we're not going to find out until it's too late, and that's the big part of the reason that this is such a big, like, gamble, right? That can pay off, may not. Again, being able to buy a small fraction of it, being able to buy one, a handful of these things, or even, like, a couple more units could be worthwhile, especially if not that many of these guys come in and wreck the hash rate. It's going to get wrecked regardless. We just don't know if it's going to be the extent of, like, a 2, 3, 4, 5x increase in hash rate, or if it's going to be something like a 5, 8, 10, 15, 20x increase. Right, and over what period of time. It's something that we're not gonna know until it happens, right? So very intriguing though, very interesting to watch overall. Um, as we go through the prices, again, it's just it's up to you. Still debating on whether or not to like order some of these. I was really hoping freaking Ice River would release a mid-tier unit or some kind of a bigger unit. That's more of where my appeal would be. I don't necessarily want to get like five of these little things and manage all that. I'd rather just have one unit, be done with it, take that risk, and go for it. Okay, because I'm going to be super pissed if I do buy like five, six of these things, and then three days later they do announce the model that I wanted, and it's like, ah, you MFers. 
but that's kind of the risk. So for me, it's like I definitely did get one. I may get another one or two. But as far as getting like the equivalent to be like a mid-tier unit, that's not something that's super appealing to me. I'd rather, much rather wait for that. Um, and then does that mean also that like the AL1 is out of line and it's something that, ah, no, screw it. So at this price point, absolutely. Not something I would remotely consider just because of the amount of risk. From what we've seen, just like we saw with like the KS3 and the KS5, what happened over time? As that hash rate got wrecked, the profitability and the yield went down drastically. So did the price, right? So it will eventually get to a point where the price point can make sense depending on ALF's price action. The difference maker is that ALF moons prior to then, a lot of variables can happen. But if it stays in this range or even doesn't like go up in multiples at this point, I fully expect to see that happen, okay? So then at that point, if that does happen, let's say ALF does, not necessarily struggles, but even if it just stays sideways, even if it only goes to like two, 253 bucks in the short term, in these next like two to three months, I can definitely see these things dropping depending on how many units are made, right? Because at this point, it's not like it's just one manufacturer and they're going to kind of control the hash rate, right? At this point, it's Bitmain, it's Ice River, and it's Gold Shell, all manufacturing units, all going to try to bring these out right now while the hype is hot, okay? Especially right now, just because, again, we don't know what's going to happen. If the yield and the profitability go down drastically, then these things aren't going to sell as much as what they were thinking. But right now, during the speculation phase where we're all speculating, like, ah, oh, we'll roll the dice for it. Yeah, they're going to get a good amount of sales, right? Because at this point, the profitability by the time you get the unit is kind of unknown, right? The standout being kind of the gold shell unit, though, just because this is available now. Okay, so yes, we've been giving them shit about the price, but it does make sense again for it to be at a slight premium just because it is available now. But we're now at the point, though, where it's making less and less sense because, again, we're already in August. The Ice River can technically ship here in a few weeks. They did give the window of the 15th to the 30th, but what does that realistically mean? It's not going to start shipping until the 30th or a few days after. Okay, same thing with the Bitmain unit. So your best case scenario is that hopefully none of these plug in until maybe the first, second week of September. Maybe they get delayed and goes back longer. Maybe the AL0 is a smaller batch. And because of this thing, not that people buy the Bitmain unit, that's kind of what you're banking on, right? That's kind of the best case scenario for you here in this case. And if you're buying one of these things, that's kind of what you're hoping as well, right? You really want these things to get delayed or for it to be an extremely tiny limited batch, right? One of those things or the other, okay? So at this point, would it be worth it to pay the premium now? It'd be something where you'd really have to get in it because at this point, it's like you're only going to have a few weeks heads up, okay? Because even if you were to order this thing now and you get relatively fast shipping, it's here in a week. It's now August 8th at that point potentially only a few weeks away from the hash rate going up massively. So at that point, does it make sense to pay nearly twice the premium versus that AL0, especially with something that's half the efficiency? Up to you, right? So it's kind of a tricky situation. Uh, is it super interesting though, super fascinating? Absolutely, right? This is something we followed extremely closely right from the beginning with Caspa from the beginning of the FPGAs to the A6 and all the way through, it's been super fascinating and fun to watch, right? But um, just gonna wait and see freaking Ice River release that damn mid-tier unit, don't. <laughs> I just know it that if I do freaking cave in and buy like a handful of these things, that that freaking next day they're gonna announce that, you know, I'm gonna be so freaking pissed. Especially if that's a, a decent discount for having a more bulk unit. Because again, typically there is that premium for having the smaller slice. Typically as the bigger unit you get, the bigger the kind of discount gets. Okay, so we'll see what happens. But realistically also, it's most worthwhile if you get in that first batch. So like, let's say they do announce it, but it's not gonna release until like mid-September, end of September, massively less appealing at these price points. Just because again, the hash rates are gonna be affected. The gamble here is to get in on that first batch. Okay, so am I super confident that it's going to be making a good amount of money? Not really, right? That's why I'm maybe going to buy one or two. My DJ and buy a few more. But realistically, I already got the one. Like literally, as soon as it went available on Ice River, I did order my one. Okay, so I'm kind of on the fence if I'm going to order any additional. Okay, so we're going to wait and see. I'm still kind of 
hoping that Ice River releases that bigger unit, but we shall see. And again, guys, it's going to be in a few weeks. Okay, so just more than anything, just wanted to confirm the existence of the AL1 Pro. Just because, for example, Mining Now does have it listed here, so that's where a lot of the questions were coming from. So this is real. It is coming. Expect both of these units. Well, I expect a heavy batch to come in. Realistically, we don't know, right? Looking at the numbers, looking at what makes sense, I wouldn't think so just because, again, it makes more sense to buy these things. But again, that kind of doesn't matter to a lot of you freaking DGENs. <laughs> But again, it just depends on the market, right? Realistically, these are not meant for a lot of us plebs. They're meant for people who want the top of the line, the best, and they just want to be buy it and be done with it and just let it stack, right? So let me know what you guys think. Did any of you guys order a freaking AL1? Let me know. <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Or did you guys get any of these others? Did you guys end up getting an AL0 or one of these AL boxes? I know some of you guys did actually get some of these AL boxes. Let me know how those things go. Let me know what's going on, guys. Let me know just your opinions. And when do you think these things are going to ship? Do you guys really think like the AL0 is going to ship early? Do you think maybe they'll finally break the mold after a year of these things where they literally every single time ship on the last day? Will they finally break it with this thing? Let me know what y'all think. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching, and I am out.